What? Steamed pork bun. Do you want to get one? Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was honestly a little intimidating. I, there's like nothing scarier than walking into like a really small restaurant full of people and no one speaks English and then not knowing what to order so you're just like pointing at things. They're really nice. Though. They're really nice. Okay, so this morning uh, we read that the waterfront here in Taiwan is really cool so we decided to, I guess, get breakfast and then go and check that out. Day four in Taiwan. <laughs> I have tried steam buns all over the place, but never in actual China or Taiwan. So these were 40 cents each. That is amazing. And they smell, mm, they smell really good. I think they got pork buns. Can you try a bite? That was just bread. Wow, that's really good. Mm. Ooh, it's like a little sweet, a little savory. Oh my gosh, but the bun is so good. We've had a lot of these in Thailand, but they were from 7-Eleven, so they're microwaved. There's nothing that compares to a fresh bun. Oh my gosh. Mm. They're so good. So you guys, check out the view here. This is so cool. This waterfront is beautiful, and it's raining like crazy right over there. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is a walking street? Yeah, I, I suppose Lunar New Year is in a few days, so this so is that what's must happening. be what's going on. Oh my gosh, there's oh. so many people here. And, Sticky tofu. Yep, yep. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey. I think that guy's selling belts and wallets, but it's so exciting, it's like an auction. There is so much going on here, this is crazy. I can't even imagine what actual lunar, like New Year Day. I don't, there's so many different Could shops. Could it be busier than this? No, definitely, I don't think there could be more people here. Target's so fun. I like how you can get your shoe repair glue and then right after get lunch at the squid stand. It's a bit of a traffic jam here. How are you doing, love? Please don't lose me. You know, a little, a little uncomfortable. Is it unlucky to get something that's not your year? You think? I'm an ox, so. They're so cute. Should I get one? That was an experience. I feel like I was holding my breath for the last like half hour or so and now I can breathe again. There's so much going on in there. These are like fortune tellers. There's a lot of people selling red cards. I think you put money in those and give it to people for the new year. Think so? Think so? Food, shoe repair, just anything you can imagine. And it's so busy. Yeah. Tia bought something. <laughs> How cute is this? It says, I'm a lucky dog. And we translated it, and it says, good fortune from all directions. Oh, great. <laughs> T 
Taipei 101. <laughs> this used to be the tallest building in the world for only six years, right? I think so, which so. is kind of sad, but it had that title. So it's called 101 because it has 101 floors. Mm -hmm. And it's... 1,600 feet tall. That's really tall. Very tall. Two that for scale! Oh. <laughs> There she is. There's Tia. That is huge. I think that's the tallest building we've done that next to. Yeah, we, they wouldn't let us close enough to the Burj Khalifa when we saw that, so mm -hmm. this may be the tallest building we ever do it next to. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. There's a whole mall in here. It's Massive, holy moly. A lot of these stores are very yeah. fancy. Very fancy. dollars each to go up to the top. Are you guys ready for this view? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're still on the fourth floor. We, yeah, there's not in the budget to go to the top, but it is still pretty nice from here. It is pretty, this is kind of a nice view. Uh, to go to the top, it would have been $40 almost for the two of us, which is more than our whole budget for food today. Mm -hmm. So. There is a Starbucks you can go to, yes, where awesome. it's not as expensive. It's like on the 80th floor or something. Something like that, but they're closed. And it's reservation only, so. Anyways, yeah, I'm sure there are other videos that show you what it looks like at the top, but this is a, there's supposed to be a really good restaurant near here though. Mm. Like a famous dim sum place, someone oh, really? said in the comments, yeah. Oh, okay, let's do that. All right, you want to tell us what's going on? We found the dim sum place. It is the place to go right now, and there's an hour late wait, but with the amount of people here, I'm guessing it is really good, so. And they let you order before you get set. Yeah, so we already have everything ordered. I am so hungry. Oh my gosh. This is the first food we've ever gotten that has come with instructions. I'm so excited to finally eat something right. This restaurant has gotten a Michelin star five times, and it's a chain now, but they are known for their steamed dumplings, and there is an insane line, so like, we know we're in the right place. We ordered probably way too much food because they gave you the checklist while you're waiting, and I was hungry, I just kept checking things off, and it's coming in stages. So the first thing is Shabang Bao, which is what this place is known for, and it's pork soup dumplings. And I'm ready to eat it. The waitress was really sweet and she actually made our dipping sauce for us. It's a mixture of soy sauce and vinegar and fresh ginger. What the directions say is step one, grab the bun, dip it into the sauce, put it in the spoon, and poke a small hole to let all the broth that's inside the dumpling out. What happens when I don't come out? Okay, okay. So now it's like a little bun in a little soup bag. It says now enjoy. So do I just like eat, like eat the whole thing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It's like soup in a little pocket. That's delicious. And the flavor is like salty and garlicky and savory. And the wrapper has a perfect consistency to it. It's like springy and soft and chewy. We should have ordered more. Look at how much food. Okay, before I do this, look how much food. How many of these did we get? Ten. We got ten of these veggie mushroom dumplings. Don't think it has the soup in it. I'm going to dip it in the sauce and then probably get torn apart in the comments 
when we post this video. Alright, I did turn the sauce. Let's see. The texture is absolutely incredible. I'm like a big texture person when it comes to food. And I think this is perfect. Uh, there's like vegetables and the mushroom taste comes through really strong. I personally really like mushrooms. But the biggest thing for me is that the skin is just perfectly cooked. If we had a lot of time to wait, there's actually a window that goes into the kitchen. They say you have to train here for three years to become a full-on cook here. And I can totally see why. Just everything is so meticulous and there's so much attention to detail. It's, it's wonderful. I think that there are 18 folds for every dumpling. Do I count it? <laughs> <laughs> this is way too fancy for us. Since we are starving, and this is our first real meal today, we also got pork over rice, like fried rice, and it looks really, really good. I'm excited for this one. I like the dumplings, they're really good, but they're not like super filling, or we w it would have been if we ordered like 10 times more than we did, but this looks like it's gonna really hit the spot. In the fried rice, it looks like there's egg and green onions, and on top of the pork, it kinda just looks like, like pepper maybe? <laughs> That is also really good. And what's really nice is that it's not deep fried because a lot of the pork we've had lately has been deep fried. And this, I think, is just baked. And it is so good and so tender and really juicy, a little bit sweet. The rice is just really simple and it's not dry at all. I'm like so excited with how good the food is here. Also, for moms out there everywhere, steamed spinach. Some of the best food I think we've tried on this entire, the whole thing is oh so my good. Gosh. Whoever recommended that, or whoever's recommended that, thank you so much. That was awesome. It was $50. We went a it, little crazy. That's not their fault though. No, oh no, I of mean, course not. It was really good, totally worth it. Yeah. It was our splurge of the month, really good. Mm -hmm. Also, you guys, this it's, is the postcard. This is from the Japan southernmost point from Hataruma mm -hmm. and we put all of the comments from that video into a random comment picker and the winner is, is Riley Pearson so if that's you just get a hold of us on uh, either Instagram or send us an email mm -hmm. and we'll get that sent out to you yeah thanks a lot for coming with us you guys mm -hmm. and we'll see you on the next one so that's good Ew, it's so Ready? Did you zoom in on my face? Okay. And then... Okay, now they're coming. Uh, just get a... So if that's... Whoa! Look at the sky! Do you think Batman's coming? <laughs>